All right, um, good morning everybody. Um, thank you all for paying attention to the bell. Um, you're all very welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to come to this. Glad that you all were able to make it to what, well, as I was coming here, I wondered whether this was an unveiling, but I mean, unveiling would have been impractical given the sheer size of this crane. And handover seems like a rather strange remark to make, given that would be physically difficult too. But whatever this kind of event it is, we're here to mark the restoration of this wonderful object manufactured in Bath. Um, you might be familiar with the expression, a prophet is not without honor save in his own country, which means when something is familiar to you, or made somewhere where you uh, live, you don't appreciate it perhaps as much as people from elsewhere. And I think for a long time, you know, products that were made in the city, industrial manufacturers, things like this wonderful crane, they were appreciated where they were used, they were appreciated all across the globe, but perhaps here in Bath, we've not been quite as appreciative of them. I think that has changed, and having this object here is concrete evidence of the city's industrial past. And I'm glad you're all here to see it uh, shown uh, uh, so magnificently. I, I've had a strange fascination with cranes, uh, really, since I was eight years old. I can remember, um, I was at a school called St. Mark's up the way there, and we used to play football over here in Green Park on, a, on a, odd afternoons. And uh, I can remember seeing cranes on tests and I thought wow I wasn't interested in the football but I thought wow look at that I'd like to be in there and yes I did it and it's quite a honour I suppose or a pleasure to bring one back and especially one this old as well. This beautifully renovated site is a perfect home for this prime example of a very early Stoddart and Pitt hand operated crane bringing it back to where it first came to life over 150 years ago. I believe the crane spent its working life around Wiltshire village of Box and would have been used in the stone industry, so it's great that it was kept so local. I'd also like to thank Peter Gunn and the whole restoration team for the amazing painstaking work that they've carried out on this crane. It really does look perfect. Thank you. Caroline, can I just ask you very quickly uh, how you're feeling this morning as a direct descendant of uh, Mr. Pitt, who with Mr. Stoddart ran the factory here. How are you feeling today? Well, it's very nice to have a memory of it after the other, the rest of the building has been demolished. Yes. Is the family involved in engineering in any way at all now? Uh, not really. My elder brother did uh, his year out here before he did engineering at university and he's a farmer now, but that's the closest one to an engineering. And I'm an architect myself. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you went off in a different yeah. direction completely. Yeah.